Welcome friends, like, share and subscribe for more videos. When the piston approaches the end of the compression stroke, a spark is discharged between the sparking plug electrodes. The spark leaves a small nucleus of flame that propagates into the unburnt gas towards the walls of combustion chamber. The combustion process of SI engines can be divided into three broad regions. 1. Ignition lag or flame development, 2. Flame propagation, and 3. After burning or flame termination. Flame development or ignition lag is generally considered the consumption of the first 5 to 10% of the air fuel mixture. During the ignition lag period, ignition occurs and the combustion process starts, but very little pressure rise, from A to B, is noticeable and little or no useful work is produced. Combustion is initiated by an electrical discharge across the electrodes of a spark plug. This occurs anywhere from 10 degrees to 30 degrees before TDC, depending on the geometry of the combustion chamber and the immediate operating conditions of the engine. This high temperature plasma discharge between the electrodes ignites the air fuel mixture in the immediate vicinity, and the combustion reaction spreads outward from there. Combustion starts very slowly because of the high heat losses to the relatively cold spark plug and gas mixture. Flame can generally detected at about 6 degrees of crank rotation after spark plug firing. Stage 2, flame propagation starts at point, B where measurable change in pressure rise is noticed on indicator diagram. During ignition lag phase first 5 to 10% of the air fuel mass has been burned, the combustion process is well established and the flame front moves very quickly through the combustion chamber. Due to induced turbulence, swirl, and squish, flame propagation speed is about 10 times faster than if there were a laminar flame front moving spherically from the spark plug in stationary air, is greatly distorted and spread by these motions. As the gas mixture burns, the temperature, and consequently the pressure, rises to high values. Burned gases behind the flame front are hotter than the unburned gases before the front, with all gases at about the same pressure. This decreases the density of the burned gases and expands them to occupy a greater percent of the total combustion chamber volume. Ideally the air fuel mixture should be about two-thirds burned at TDC and almost completely burned at about 15 degrees after TDC. This causes maximum temperature and maximum pressure of the cycle to occur somewhere between 5 degrees and 10 degrees after TDC, about optimum for a four-stroke cycle SI engine. Third stage of combustion starts at point C. At about 10 degrees to 20 degrees after TDC, 90 to 95 percent of the air fuel mass has been combusted and the flame front has reached the extreme corners of the combustion chamber. Last 5 percent or 10 percent of the mass has been compressed into a few percent of the combustion chamber volume by the expanding burned gases behind the flame front. Although at this point the piston has already moved away from TDC, the combustion chamber volume has only increased on the order of 10 to 20 percent from the very small clearance volume. This means that the last mass of air and fuel will react in a very small volume in the corners of the combustion chamber and along the chamber walls. During the after burning period, self ignition will sometimes occur in the end gas in front of the flame front, and engine knock will occur. The temperature of the unburned gases in front of the flame front continues to rise during the combustion process, reaching a maximum in the last end gas. This maximum temperature is often above self-ignition temperature. Because the flame front moves slowly at this time, the gases are often not consumed during ignition delay time, and self-ignition occurs. The resulting knock is usually not objectionable or even noticeable. This is because there is so little unburned air fuel left at this time that self-ignition can only cause very sluggish T pressure pulses. 
Maximum power is obtained from an engine when it operates with very slight self-ignition and knock at the end of the combustion process.